Hi Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading. I am Lorianne, your intuitive guidance counselor, psychic medium, to give you all the messages for love. It's all about love messages. So we're looking at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Cap Capricorn. <clears throat> You may be having a little difficulty talking, some of you. I haven't had a stutter or a stumble all, all day. So this group of you, I have a feeling you're going to have some throat chakra stuff. But uh, let me give you what I'm getting right now. So as an intuitive, I hear it, see it, feel it, know it. But I will pull the cards in just a moment. What I'm getting for you, Capricorn, is the sense of, like, I lit Palo Santo just before I started. Not only would Palo Santo be something good for you to, uh, to burn, but equally, now this is a lovely one. This is a mixture of white sage and lavender. Kind of like uh, clearing and bringing in positive all at once. But very important that you pull in a lot of positive energy around you. In this particular group of you, Capricorn, I feel that you're very drained. You might have been going through a lot of energy. Um, I am hearing life changes. Life changes, life alter, altering, things taking place, change. A lot of changes taken place in your life over the last uh, three to seven years. It's like maybe actually even rebuilding your life. But there's this energy of openness, okay? This is why I'm talking about the incense. It's not in a bad way. There's this energy of openness around you where you could have been feeling very negative, but you're coming into being open. It's a healing. It's that little beautiful flower in you opening up to emerge into a new relationship, but it's more about the way you view relationship. So it's this window of the soul opening up, allowing vulnerable you to show. So it could be a little bit fearful, but when we're in that open place, we wanna make sure we're blocking negative and bringing in positive. So again, those two particular ones would be very, very good for you. Now the message they want you to know that coincides with that particular one, pride. So I love myself, I see myself in everyone. And that's what I'm talking about. This shift, this change is coming in where you've been through a lot of ick. And I feel this shift is like, thank you, dear angels. <laughs> where have you been? I have waited and it's gonna really reestablish a new you. It's like a pick me up is what I'm feeling. A lift, an open, okay. My pride says I am good the way I am. So I'm gonna put myself out there. I'm gonna be a little bit open. I'm gonna be a little bit vulnerable. But in doing that, we can call in all the little wolves in sheep's clothing. So making sure that you protect yourself as well, right? But it's a beautiful transitional type energy. Now I'm gonna pull yours and on this side, and then I'll pull your partner. This could be your current partner, somebody you used to be with, or somebody brand new. But let me pull your energy. Yeah, okay. So we have the Seven of Swords, and that's what I'm talking about. You've been through a lot. You've learned a lot of life lessons. You really come out of a place of fear, of understanding which lessons you need to bring in life, what kind of people you should bring in, who is telling you the truth, who's not? This is about deception, being lied to, cheated on, all of that. So you've been through a lot, but look at you. Look at you, the queen of wands. This is you being in your absolute element, overcoming fear of being open and vulnerable. The queen of wands is sexy, dynamic, vibrant, been coming out a lot, and I'm sure it's just in time for Valentine's Day, right? But there's this spark inside of you that I feel has been a very long time coming. Now, you could have been dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, a fellow Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, um, maybe somebody with air in their chart. But this is a long time coming and rebuilding you because, again, this is about taking pride in you. Stepping out of your comfort zone and being able to say, look at me, I did it. I overcame. This is no longer in my life. And I love it. It's like regaining your own
personal power. Some of you, by doing that, you're meeting somebody that's going to be of parallel equality. As well. It's somebody equal to you. I don't know why I heard those two words. But let's see who this person is that uh, whether you're dealing with them or they're coming back, coming in. Oh, um, you guys, it's just a beautiful feel. Here we go. We've got the you again. Look at this. This is absolute confidence. This is total personal power. This is you going, I know I got it going on. I got it going on. I've been through it all. I get it. I know. I've been through it. I understand. I recognize all of this because you're able to really tap into high priestess, your own intuition. Whoever you're dealing with could be, like I said, a fellow uh, uh, Sagittarius, a uh, Capricorn. Sorry about that. A fellow Capricorn. But I feel they definitely have fire in their chart, and you may as well. I know I said it wrong a minute ago. Please forgive me. <laughs> a lot of information going on. It comes in this way, this way, this way. So whatever it is regarding this person, regarding you, you see relationships very, very differently. We're talking about the Hierophant and listening to other people. Some of you are getting ready to meet somebody that I feel you're an absolute perfect match. The two of you are going to be on the same page. You've been through a lot together and you're coming around and you're going to recognize and it's because you are in this high vibrational state. And again, we just went through a solar eclipse, which means some stuff you've been working on for maybe years, even decades, your whole life has been released and you can feel it. And that's what I'm talking about, the ich that you've been through, right? And I feel for this group of you, it has been a lot, a lot of ick. Now, we definitely could also be dealing with a Taurus very heavily. There's a stubborn energy about this person. That could be you, but there is a stubborn energy about them, and they definitely have a grounded energy much like you do. But there's this spark, this sense of adventure, excitement. It's almost like this feeling of freedom. I'm finally free to be me. Free to be me. Free to step out and actually take pride in who you are. You don't have to hide who you are. And if you are a psychic, oh baby, you're stepping out. Most definitely. All of these three cards are, well, you got four, four. So this is for a lot of you. If you're a healer, this is about you feeling confident and taking pride in what you do and doing that. You're going to meet somebody brand new or bring back somebody. But again, I feel it's all about opening up these old blockages and moving past. You're just, you're shooting forward. This is all about you this week. Whether you're meeting somebody or not, it's all about you standing in the King of Swords energy. Now, you could be meeting a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. King of Swords, very much a person of power themselves. They may be a little cold in distance or they could have been in the past. This is a person you're going to have a lot of intellectual conversations with, a lot of stimulating um activities around you that's just going to spark all your chakras. You're getting ready to open up and be the beautiful, beautiful Capricorn that you are and really step into this Queen of Wands energy. Confidence, power, right? And speaking your truth. Now, some of you, you do have somebody returning who's going to come in and give you some truth that's going to lift you up and pull you through this. And they were meant to come in at this time. So let's take a look. And if you like me, please subscribe. I do have Valentine readings, Twin Flame love readings. And if you book it now, because they're limited, you'll be able to get in there on AscendingSoulsJourney.com. Forgiving and learning. You see, you've been through all this. So let it go and emerge the real you, Capricorn, because it's time for you to shine. It's time for you to really embrace your beautiful self. You got it going on. And this week, over the next week, whoever you're talking to, whether it's your current partner or someone new or from the past, it's all about you coming up and really opening up to the vulnerable you. 
Have an amazing week. Thank you for watching and much love.